Good afternoon, everyone. What a great day. As we enter this into this event and celebrate your amazing success, I remember a quote from a speech given at a graduation by Oprah Winfrey. I may, I know you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class for such a time as this. Of course, this is not the graduation ceremony you envisioned. You've been dreaming about the walk across the stage, your family and friends cheering on, perhaps flung joyously in the air. But even though there may not be pomp because of our circumstance, never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, more vision, more passion, energy, and hope. And for that, we thank you, graduating class, personal support worker. I would ask everyone to please stand playing of our national honor. I would like to introduce our first guest for today. Jackie Russell is the project manager for the Personal Support Worker Program at the Ottawa Campus Willis College. She oversees the daily teaching and practical aspects of the program. Jackie has been with Willis College for over two years and has been in the personal care industry for 25. Jackie has an amazing sense of humor, laughs, loves, and lightens every day for her students. Jackie, thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Bonnie. I first want to thank you all for attending the 2021 graduation with us. It is disappointing not getting to see you all in person, but the majority of your program being online, what's one more Zoom meeting? I would like to thank all our staff including the nurses, reps, and all the admin staff for the committed efforts in providing the best teaching experience possible for all our students. I may be a little biased, but I believe we have the most caring and committed team of educators here for our students. I know firsthand how difficult it is being an educator outside of COVID and adding that element into the profession certainly does not make it any easier. Providing the proper education to be a personal support worker is not an easy task by any means and requires a high level of expertise from every educator involved. We started small but have grown and now have over 200 graduates. With that, it is my pleasure to recognize all the 2021 PSW graduates. It was a very wise man named Gandhi who once said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. A student once told me they wanted to become a PSW to give back to the health community that helped their loved one. They were so touched and overwhelmed with the care and love that their loved one was shown and they now wish to show the same compassion to others. This is the type of change we wanna see that we need to see. Graduates, 
you have demonstrated your commitment to caring for those in need to help over the 30 weeks, navigating through our orientation process, then going through hours of online classes, and then physically going into the facilities and putting your knowledge into practice. To me, being a personal support worker means constantly putting the care of others above yourself. It is a selfless career and choosing this path is choosing the life of the unsung hero. I encourage you to go forward in this unprecedented time with the knowledge you have gained and the compassion and care that brought you here. So to our graduating students, go out there and be the unsung heroes of the world. They need you more than you know. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. I concur. Our personal support workers are indeed our unsung heroes. It is my pleasure today to introduce to everybody the man who, who runs the Willis College Division for us, our president and CEO, Henry Devlin. Thank you, Henry. Thank you very much, Bonnie, and wonderful words, Jackie. To, to all of the students that are graduating today, their family, friends, loved ones, employers, um, I just wanna say congratulations. Um, over the last couple of years, Willis College has made a considerable effort to train more and more PSWs because of the demand that's in the marketplace. When I first started talking to the province a few years ago about their shortages and what the needs were, um, we came forward and said, we can ramp this up. But without you, the student, participating in the training, there's no way we would have been able to assist the province with the challenges they have with staffing. Um, as much as the world globally is focusing on coming out of this pandemic and how terrible and challenging it's been, I, I look at what we've gone through as a, as a wonderful opportunity. Never has there been such a good time to graduate as a PSW as there is now, because for many years, <clears throat> loved ones, family members, care homes have realized, as, as Jackie has mentioned, our frontline workers, our PSWs, are our unsung heroes. But governments, both provincially and federally, had yet to recognize that. And I really, truly do believe that now you are going to see over the next few years that benefits that may not have been there in the past are going to start materializing. It will no longer be just words on a page saying they're important. There will be actions taken. And you'll see this with compensation. You'll see this with quality of work that you're involved in and demand in the workplace. So again, for all of the graduates, congratulations for starting something in very challenging times and realizing that's probably the best time to begin. Not when we're through something, but when we're starting something as challenging as what we've gone through. The need for PSWs is the highest it's ever been in this country. That means certainly good things for you in the future that you've decided to pursue. Um, I'm excited for you as the president, CEO of Willis College. It is truly an honor to speak before you today. Um, I won't steal too much time. I know we've got a large number of speakers, uh, but it is exciting. And we are very thankful to be part of this journey with you. And we encourage you to stay in contact with us because no longer maybe are you a student of the college, but you will forever be an alumni of the college, and that's important to us. Whether you need our help a year from now, two, five, 10, or maybe you become an employer in the future, select our graduates. We wanna keep the relationship going. So again, congratulations, job well done, and we wish you tremendous success as you embark in your PSW career. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Henry. Fabulous words for our graduating class. It is my pleasure this afternoon to introduce a guest speaker. John Yakabaski was elected to the Ontario Legislature as an MPP for the riding of Bentru Nipissing, Pembroke, October 2nd, 2003. On June 7th, 2018, he was re-elected for his fifth term in office. John is currently serving as a parliamentary assistant to the Premier. He was raised on politics as his father, Paul Yakabowski, served as the provincial member riding Renfrew South for 24 years. 
Formerly a real estate sales representative, John is best known locally as the former owner operator Yakabuski's Home Hardware in Barry's Bay. He's also known for his record of community service that has included service to the Canadian Royal Legion, Madawaska Valley Lions Club, and the Boy Scouts. In addition, John sat on the steering committee of St. Francis Memorial Hospital's Capital Equipment Campaign and is very active in the church. In October of 2010, John recorded and released his second CD entitled Taking Care to raise funds that go directly to nine long-term cares in his riding. John's first CD, To Your Health, raised over $1,000 for the five local hospitals. John grew up in a family of 14 children, just about enough for a from all on his own. He and his wife, Vicky, have four children and 12 grandchildren. Please welcome John Yakabuski. I want to thank you, the graduates, for your hard work and dedication that has led to this moment. Most importantly, I want to thank you for the work that is yet to begin. You are about to embark on a journey that will have a tremendous impact on so many people. You'll be providing a level of care and compassion that will most certainly touch the lives and hearts of your future clients. While caring for the aging population, you will be providing their families and loved ones with a sense of security and relief, knowing the person they care about is in good hands. The role you play is a most important one for all Ontarians. I cannot thank you enough. Congratulations and best of luck. John? This afternoon, it is my pleasure to introduce one of our instructors from the Personal Support Worker Program. Pam Cote is a registered practical nurse. She has been a nurse for 12 years in hospital and community. Currently with Willis College, Pam was first an instructor in the government scholarship program and then transitioned into an admin role, a student services coordinator. Having met Pam and worked with her, what I can tell you is her energy and her role is never ending. She teaches occasionally and supports students in different aspects of the journey from enrollment to graduation and into their career as a personal support worker. It is my pleasure to introduce our fabulous instructor, Pam Cote. Welcome graduates, guests, and faculty members. It is an honor to have an opportunity to address such a deserving group of graduates here at Willis College. We have heard countless times over the past two years that we are living in unprecedented times. While this is true, the graduates of the PSW program at Willis College have learned to adapt and overcome numerous obstacles on their path and to change those obstacles into opportunities. Willis College and the Government of Ontario may have made those opportunities available to you, but it is you and your support groups that have realized those opportunities. You journeyed the road to success despite the hardships put before you. Some of you were returning to school for the first time after many years. Others had to learn new technology coupled with the program itself. For some, you were adapting to a virtual classroom. Um, all the intricacies and newness of the environment. And let me tell you, <laughs> there were some memorable moments. Bedheads, cats running across the screen, kittens playing on the keyboards, dogs barking, puppies barking, screaming children running through the screens, laughing children, saw a lot of laughing children. And then of course there were the husbands photobombing. Um, and you know, and then there was just the technical issues too, right? So uh, let us not forget, many of our students had little ones running around also trying to navigate new learning uh, during this time of real uncertainty. Then there was the meat and potatoes of the learning, right? 
So like you things you needed to know, anatomy, safety, mobility, medications, health conditions, and a host of others. There's way too many to mention. Um, so learning how to bathe, you know, and transfer lions, tigers, and bears, and only the PSWs will understand that one. 25 hours a week in class learning and countless more hours of homework and studying. And what about personal hardship? Challenges, some of you experiencing relation breakdown, moving from one place to another, you moved residence, financial difficulty, sick children, sick parents, sick pets, okay? And let's not lose sight of the real challenge that we all had. We've all been going through a pandemic. I'm not gonna lie guys, just, just listening to myself mentioning and all this stuff, it's like my head is spinning. Okay, about this unforgettable journey that you've traveled to arrive right here today. But here's what I'll tell you. What's even more incredible about this unfinished journey is what lies ahead for you, our province, and this country. Each and every one of you is taking a walk through history. You are making history here and now. You are here because you chose to be here. You are here to make a difference and to change the course of history. With the experience and knowledge that you've gained through your stay here at Willis College, you will show and teach those that have come before you and those that will come after you what it is to be compassionate, empathetic, and to advocate for those who cannot and to care for people with dignity and respect. And even, and we know it's going to happen, even when this all seems impossible. Because you are and you will be, and those of you who know me will be the face of change. You will hold your head high and you will perform your practice to the high standard that was imparted to you here at Willis College. I have nothing but respect for the career that you've chosen. It can be thankless and it can be difficult at the best of times. But here's what I know. You are the difference. You are an integral part of the healthcare team that we need each and every shift. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure and honor to welcome the PSW graduating class. Please put your hands together and show your appreciation for what they do. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. It's always amazing to hear you speak. Value of our personal support workers cannot our final guest speaker today is the valedictorian for the personal support worker program. The valedictorian is chosen by her peers and by the instructors as the person not just with the best marks or the best attendance, with the attitude, the leadership, the empathy, with the ability to shine, to show us the direction that we should travel. This particular valedictorian's average mark is 92% with not a single day of school missed. Given where we've come, that's incredible. I would like you please to welcome our valedictorian for the Personal Support Worker Program, a graduate of 2021, Bernadette Green McAvoy. Graduates, family, guest in Willis College. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Willis College for honoring me with the privilege of being Val Victorian for my PSW class 2021. The staff and teachers are amazing with their patience and knowledge to guide students to be successful in completing their studies to a full potential of graduating and working in our new careers. Thank you. It was a delight to be on the same journey as with other students, where our main focus was to make a difference in people's lives. Thank you for your teamwork of studying together and the positive experience. 
I would like to talk about accomplishments and what it means on a larger scale. I once heard a speech that an admiral delivered in the United States to a university graduating class. His name was Admiral McRaven. His speech was so powerful as well as motivational, everyone was left speechless. The one thing in Admiral McRaven's speech that resonated with me was him talking about accomplishments. It started with the quote about making a bed. Yes, making a bed, imagine that. Something so simple and so common. Making your bed can be the start of something in, to you that can grow on a much larger and complex scale. It's a task completed in the morning and throughout the day more tasks are completed. At the day's end when you feel stressed, the one thing you can do on seeing that bed made is to be reminded the sense of accomplishment. Tomorrow will be another day to feel the same sense of that accomplishment. During the pandemic, our studies were online. The, the new way of learning for us. During video Zoom meetings, I could honestly tell you that I did not see a bed that was not made. We were ready, we were eager to learn new things and we worked together to accomplish what we needed to do to be successful. Learning is a powerful tool not just for students, but as well for teachers. I remember during our discussions, our teacher mentioned that she had learned something new that day too. We worked together to gain experience and to help each other to be successful. Every day was an accomplishment of gaining new knowledge, which also influenced us to newfound confidence guiding us towards our goals. Going back to school was not easy for some. Completing projects and exams, oh, so many exams let alone learning online, but we did it. And because of that, we are here today graduating, and that alone is a bigger scale of accomplishment. I would also like to remind you that our accomplishments not only resonates on us alone, it spreads in a way that motivates other people as well. I remember an experience at work that left a profound effect on me. I recall a time when I walked into the resident's room and she was making a bed. I asked her if I could help her and she said yes. She was telling me to match up the corners of the quilt comforter to the corners of the bed and tuck it underneath the mattress. As I stepped back to let her finish making the bed, I noticed she took much pride in smoothing up the wrinkles of the comforter. And she had a sense of accomplishment and not only can you see this in her, it carried over towards independence. Accomplishments is independence. It can make us a better person to get where we would like to be in life through education. It also activities of daily living. We should never take independence for granted as it is the right to live with dignity, the right to make a decision, freedom of choice and all other basic human rights. As we move forward in our careers, remember to treat all people with the choice of living with an independent life. Let them have their accomplishments and treat them with compassion, patience, and without judgment. Let them build confidence so they may carry it forward to another person as we do with our new knowledge gained from our studies. It is like a domino effect where positivity, confidence, smiles, and a good attitude will change somebody's day and it will spread and they will do the same to another and to another and to another and so on. I wish to congratulate you on all your hard work you have completed in the career you have chosen. It's not an easy career, but it is a rewarding one. You will make a difference in somebody's life. You had made a difference in your own life with all your accomplishments. So move forward, make a difference in somebody's life so they may live independently as well. Thank you and congratulations. Bernadette, that was an amazingly speech. As we end our ceremony today, I have something for you to think about. Remember this, you are awesome. I'm not suggesting you be boastful. I am suggesting that believing in yourself as the first necessary step to coming even close to achieving potential that we see in all of every day. We thank you for that you do. We thank you for trusting in the college and we wish you luck and love and wisdom in the future that lies ahead. Thank you.
for joining us today. Goodbye.